How to Manage Introverts. I'm Joanna Rawbone and I'm an introvert. I'm going to take just a couple of minutes of your time to share with you five of my top tips. Of course, there are many more because no two introverts are the same. Tip number one, introverts are quiet because that's how they recharge their mental batteries. It's not because they lack ambition, not because they're shy, not because they're arrogant, not because they don't have a point of view. Do you know how frustrating it can be to keep hearing, why are you always so quiet? So respect an introvert's need for space. It's how they focus and do their best work. Check if there's any bias towards extroversion and work with the team to surface unconscious bias. Tip number two, an introvert's communication process is think, say, think, the opposite of an extrovert. But unless there's space in the conversation, unless they've had thinking time, they may not get to the say part of their process. Please don't use that pose, pause, pounce technique though. It makes me shudder. If an introvert has something of value to add, you'll hear about it. You don't need to remind them to keep speaking up. And on that front, introverts prefer meaningful conversations and frankly, find small talk pointless. Tip number three, if you want an introvert involved in discussions or decision making, give them time to prepare first. If you give them time, they can go away, they can do their research, they can come to know their own mind on things. That means they can contribute fully in the conversation or the decision. Introverts are really great at thought through creativity, not so good at the spontaneous, so they don't enjoy that working aloud process. But when it comes to problem solving, they'll stick at something until they find the root cause because they have a tenacity about them. Tip number four, don't micromanage them. Now, that's a good tip for pretty much anyone. But introverts are resourceful and self-motivated. And if you allow them to play to their true strengths, they'll often outperform other people. Tip number five, make use of their listening and observation skills. You can invite them to share their observations, to assimilate ideas, to summarize. You know, often the quietest voice makes the most profound contribution. And best of all, ask them because no two introverts are the same. To find out more, visit www.flourishingintroverts.com.